Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Elementor's Hello Child theme. I'll explain why you'd wanna do this along the way if you're interested, but I wanna get right into it, not waste any of your time. Let's take a look. So right here, I have my WordPress website, and if you go into the admin dashboard, under appearance and themes, you'll see that we have the Hello theme installed, but we wanna install the Hello Child theme. So first we have to download that. So go to this URL, I'll have it linked in the description below. It's actually github.com, which is where the, the source code for this theme lives. And this is good to get it from here because this is where the latest version of the code is always gonna be. So go ahead and click on this green button and download the zip file. You'll download that into your downloads folder or wherever else on your computer back in your admin dashboard, make sure under appearance and themes, click on add new, and we want to upload a theme. We're gonna choose that file that we just downloaded, hello theme child master, click on open and install now. Now that should successfully install in just a couple seconds. There you go, the theme has been installed successfully. And we're not done just yet, we have to go back into our themes. We'll see now that we have both the parent theme and the child theme installed, but this is the active one. We want to actually activate the child theme. So click on activate. Don't worry, this is gonna inherit all of the functionality of the parent theme. And that's what's beautiful about child themes is that you can make changes to the style of the theme. You can make changes to the functionality of the theme, but you have much, much less of a chance of screwing things up because you're kind of like working in your own sandbox in within the child theme without actually affecting anything in the parent theme. So I wanna go through a demonstration kind of as a bonus here to just give you a simple um, demonstration of what you can do with a child theme. So what we wanna do is go into the theme editor. We're gonna edit the theme directly and some of you will probably see something like this that says, warning, you can screw things up severely. Uh, proceed at your own risk. Don't worry if you're following what I'm telling you, then there's really not a huge chance that you'll screw things up. So just follow what I'm saying, you'll be okay. Okay, so what we wanna do is basically add some short code. And if you're not familiar with short code, it's just those, those things between the brackets um, that execute code that we're gonna write. And we're gonna do this to count the number of blog posts on our website. So if that doesn't make sense, just Give it a couple minutes and it'll make perfect sense. Don't you worry. All right, so the first thing, uh, always make sure that you're working with the child theme here. There is a parent theme right here, but we wanna make sure the child theme is selected. It is, so we're good. We have two files that we can work with right now. The style sheet, which is more for the appearance of the theme, and the theme functions, which is uh, the, the functionality of the theme. Okay, so I'm gonna use my little cheat sheet over here, copy and paste some code. I'll have this link below if you wanna copy and paste it as well. And like I said, this is just five lines of code that is gonna be um, executed whenever we reference the short code that we're gonna write. And it's gonna return the number of blog posts on this website. So that's all it does. Don't worry if this code scares you. It's simply counting the number of WordPress posts that are published, assigning to the assigning it to this variable and returning that value to whoever calls this function. And you'll see that we're calling this function right here, WPB underscore total posts, anytime we reference the short code total underscore posts. So I'm just gonna copy that on my clipboard, update this file, and that should, yep, that's good. It is, has been edited successfully. Let's go ahead and call this from a blog post, or you know what? Let's put it right on the front page here um, in this little text box here. So this is just like a brief introduction to what this website is and we'll edit this with Elementor and we'll say something like, check out our blog, we have five posts. So let's go ahead and do that. So uh, I'll make a new paragraph here and do exactly that, check. Oh, I'm gonna use some of that formatting. Okay, so check out our blog here we have bracket total posts 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 so here you can see that it says bracket total post bracket but when we look at the live web page after we publish this it'll say a number i think it's five it'll say we have five posts 
okay? So um, I'm actually gonna do this step further and insert a link into our blog, blog posts. Yep, so at this URL, they'll be able to click on that. And the, don't worry, the color's terrible. This isn't a permanent change. This is just for demonstration, but uh, let's go see if this works. So we'll hit update and we'll go back to the home page. And if everything works good, you can barely see it. Check out our blog here. We have five posts. So if we go to our blog, let's confirm that that's actually the case. Here is our blog, all of our posts. We have one, two, three, four, five posts. So there you go. There you have it. We wrote short code in our child theme. It wasn't that hard. It was very simple to install the child theme to begin with. Guys, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'm more than happy to help you out. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe to this channel. And if you do, I will see you in the next one.